On the question of financial resources, you have moved, I think, from subsidy to investment. What does that mean? I think that sometimes one can be deluded in believing that it is simply enough to maintain a Christian presence in various places. And so we are tempted simply to subsidise the places where, in our case, the Victorians built churches. And you can have presence, of course, without engagement. And I think we've had to take a very sharp look at uh, how we're expending resources. We get nothing from the historic asset base of the Church of England. It all has to be raised locally. And so people have to be convinced. And so we've been doing some very accurate calculations on where the money is going. And we've become clearer and clearer. There are some places which um, are absorbing resources and not generating Christian life. So we've tried to build a culture where people understand subsidies as things that simply maintain patterns as they are um, and shift um, to a much more intentional, missional model where we are reinforcing those places and those teams where there's life.